Hello, my name is Rosemary Wells, and I'm the author and illustrator of Bunny Cakes, this year's official book for Jumpstart's Read for the Record campaign. On October 21st, across the world, millions of children and adults will gather in big cities, in small towns, and everywhere in between to read Bunny Cakes aloud. In doing so, each of us can help to break Jumpstart's previous world record for the most people reading the same book aloud on the same day. You can help make history by joining me for my largest story time yet. This is a picture of Max and Ruby, and Max is making one of his favorite cakes. It's an earthworm cake for Grandma's birthday. Does everyone know what an earthworm is? Well, Max likes them. So Max is making that cake. No, Max, says Max's sister, Ruby. We are going to make Grandma an angel surprise cake with raspberry fluff icing. That sounds better, don't you think? I think it sounds better. So we're gonna make a cake. And does everybody see the mix master and the bowl and everything else that Ruby has put together to make the cake in the kitchen? Do you all see that, boys and girls? And she's doing that. And of course, Max wanted to help. But she's seven and she knows how to make a cake. And he's three and a half. And I'm not sure he's going to be so much help. Don't touch anything, Max, said Ruby. Don't touch anything. <gasps> but Max does want to touch, doesn't he? Oh my goodness, it was too late. Max touched the egg box and guess what happened? Ah! Oh, does everybody see the eggs on the floor? Yes. I see them all over the floor. You can't make a cake without eggs, can you? Nope, you can't. So, Ruby, Ruby makes a list and she writes the word E-G-G-S on the list. And she says, Max, we can't make a cake without eggs, so you have to go to the grocery store and get them. So off goes Max. Do you all see him with his little, with his little wagon? He's going to the store, with but you know what Max did? You see him? He's going to the store, but you know what Max did? Does everybody he wrote see that something else Max on the list? Yes. Well, there's the grocer. Oh my goodness, the grocer could not read Max's writing. Well, I don't think anybody could read Max's writing, do you? Eggs, said the grocer, because he can read Ruby's writing. Eggs, said the grocer and he gave Max eggs to take home. And Max took them back to Ruby, there he is. Max brought the eggs home to Ruby. Don't bump the table, Max, said Ruby. But it was too late. <gasps> Max bumped the table again. What happened to the milk? It fell, it spilled and poured out, oh my goodness, back to the grocer with the word milk on the list. So back Max goes, but first, Max writes on the list and he wants to write red hot ma marshmallow squirters, because that's what he wants. So he takes his crayon, and he wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in a new way. Well, I'm not sure that the grocer can see how Max wrote it, but I don't think he can read it. Max hoped and hoped for his squirters, but the grocer still couldn't read Max's writing. Milk, said the grocer and gave Max a bottle of milk to take home. And Max took it home to Ruby. And Ruby was very worried because she doesn't want him bumping the table again, does she? So she says, Max, I've drawn a yellow line across the kitchen floor. You can't cross it, Max. 
that's what she says. You can't step over that line. But Max crossed the line anyway. Oh my goodness, we have another accident. The flower went all over the floor. Ruby got her pencil. She made the list. Flower, F-L-O-U-R. Can everyone see the word flower? I think the grocer can read that, can't he? Well, this time Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in the most beautiful writing he knew. Can everybody see Max's writing? Yes? It's all squiggly and wiggly and scribbly. See that? Do you think the grocer's gonna be able to read that? No way. Max could almost taste those marshmallow squirters. Flour, said the grocer, and he gave Max flour. Oh, that's a disappointment, isn't it? Max went back to the house. Look at that that Ruby made. She made a sign for the door with a picture of Max crossed out because she doesn't want him anywhere near her cake making, does she? When Max got home, there was a sign on the kitchen door, Max, the kitchen is no place for you, said Ruby. No place for you. Ruby finished her wonderful cake. Look at that, boys and girls. She finished it up. She baked it and cooled it and iced it with raspberry fluff frosting. It needs something else, Max, she said. Birthday candles, silver stars, and sugar hearts. Butternut roses, wrote Ruby. Meanwhile, Max had a brand new idea. Can you see him having his idea? Can you see that? Whoa. And you can see the list. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, butter cream roses. I think Ruby writes very well, don't you? She's in first grade and she's writing very well. But look what Max put on the list. Do you see it? Pictures of red hot marshmallow squirters squirting. Let's see what happens. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, Buttercream roses, said the ro grocer. What's this? Why, it must be red hot marshmallow squirters. And guess what? Did the grocer read Max's pictures? Yeah. And were they just as good as Ruby's words? I think so. I think so. Ruby's cake looked just beautiful, don't you think? with pink icing. That looks delicious, doesn't it? Max went out and put caterpillar icing on his earthworm cake. Grandma was so thrilled she didn't know which cake to eat first. But she can pretend. Can she pretend? Yes, she can pretend to eat Max's cake. And you see Max's cake has those squirters and they're squirting. They are. So, thank you for participating in Jumpstart's Read for the Record campaign. I couldn't be more delighted than to join Jumpstart in their mission, which is to work toward the day that every child who enters kindergarten in this country is prepared to succeed. I hope that you've enjoyed reading Bunny Cakes as much as I enjoyed writing it, drawing the pictures, and sharing the Max and Ruby stories with all of you.